Daryl Charity from from Laguna. Oh, by the way, buddy, uh, uh, I appreciate those kind words coming from you. I look forward to your promise that you will buy some of my t-shirts. And I can assure you, I got your size. Shout out to Mike from New Zealand, the Maoris, the great fighters in history. Shout out to Carlos, a.k.a. Gringo from Florida. Uh, the, uh, he asked me the other day, what is the state flower of Florida? The, uh, the state flower is orange blossom. And the uh, state bird is a mockingbird. And shout out to uh, John Bronson. I'm still waiting. And shout out to Bradley, to, uh, to Jimmy, to Terry, to Travis from Australia. And shout out to, uh, shout out to, I forgot everyone. You have a lot of people out there. But anyway, thank you guys. I love watching. What's up guys and good morning from Angeles City, Philippines. My man is here every day, right outside the carousel bar here, right as you enter Walking Street. Stop by, say hello to him, buy some of his items, it'll make his day. Great guy. Thank you, Brian. All right, buddy. I'm just going for a walk, guys. That's all I'm doing. Just finished up breakfast. Time for my walk. What's going on down here? Uh, both bars that were shut down, one, two, three bar, Baccarat. Um, those are the two I know of. They're back open. They're back open and running, I think the next day. If not the next day, the following day, everybody pays their fines, everybody pays their dues, and boom, you're back up running. So uh, everybody's happy again until the next, until the next raid. <laughs> That's just the way it rolls. It's the way it works here. You know, the girls get scared then because they're afraid their bar is going to get raided next and they're going to have problems and troubles and it's nothing new. Raids are nothing new here. There he is, Eddie the Shoe and Umbrella Repair Man. <laughs> there he is. Go over and say hello to my man. What's up, Eddie? How's business? Good? Yeah, good. Business is good. good. All right, staying busy, huh? Uh -huh. That's good. You got it. You got it going on here. <laughs> All right, Eddie. Okay. Shoe repairman. What's up, buddy? We got something going on there. They got a ladder up. Clean up on the electric line oh yesterday did it pour it rained for quite a few hours that happened after the big earthquake what's up buddy uh, morning no no thank you okay there's a shoe shiner hey what's up who's the shoe shiner you you the shoe shiner all right well, I don't have no shoes to shine. I got chinelas. <laughs> this is your shoe shine box, huh? All right, good deal. The owner of SM Mall, right? The owner, he started out as a shoe shine guy, right? Right? That's what I was told. Yeah. Hi, right, buddy. I don't have no shoes. I'm wearing chinelas. I'm wearing my Tivas. My Tivas. Yeah, that's what I was told. The uh, the uh, main guy of SM started out as a shoe shine boy, multimillionaire now. Story I was told was he used to sit outside a Mercury drugstore, right? Mercury drugstore is a drugstore here, and uh, they threw him off the the, uh, the sidewalk where he was shining his shoes. They kicked him off. So now. His little, I guess, I don't know what you would call it, revenge or whatever, is there is no Mercury drugstores inside any of the SM malls. He won't allow it. Here's the Baccarat. Here's the one that was shut down. Their, their door's locked today. Man, it's locked today. I know they're not. Are they close? I don't know, sir, because uh, last, last, 
I had raid. So I'm not going to work because my cell phone broke. Oh. Broke the mirror of the earthquake. Oh, it broke from the earthquake. Yeah. What did you fall? Mirror. Yeah, yeah. And then my cell phone charged it. Yeah. They the mirror broke and then my cell phone got uh, smashed. Yeah. Oh, you, you you work here? Yeah. Oh, but not today. Morning shift. Morning shift. Yeah. Huh? They're usually open now, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Nobody, nobody informed. You didn't get the memo. No, because my cell phone is broken. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you just said. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well. <laughs> all right. Thank you. <clears throat> a casualty. She said her cell phone was a casualty of the earthquake. A mirror fell and broke her phone. That's what she said. That's why she didn't get the memo. She didn't get the memo today that uh, her place of work is closed. Oh, wow. Muggy today, guys. Real muggy. Hang on a second here. I'm going to zip this bag. Bag's open. Oh. Barrel, barrel. I gotta check something out down here. I've seen something this morning, and I had a laugh when I seen it. And I'm wondering if it's still going on. When I get down to the end here, I will show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about if it's still up and running. My buhai. There's an ATM machine over there. Uh. Let me see if it's still going on, guys. I will see, I will see. Oh, look out. She must have got the memo. Ah, it's gone. Mm, it was funny. This morning, right across the street, right there. Right there. The Don Guico comes up and meets the Parther Highway here. Right there, they had a the, uh, checkpoint, motorcycle checkpoint. They were pulling people over, uh, checking everybody's registrations and license and what they do. Well, right here, <laughs> where they're walking through, all these motorcycles were doing a U-turn there. And it flat out says no U-turn, right? But they were doing it. And the, uh, the LTO that was doing the... Uh, checkpoint they weren't even stopping the people and they were all sitting there doing a u-turn right there where it says no u-turn see one dude go by the checkpoint they waved him over he looked back at him he didn't have a helmet on and he knew he didn't have a helmet on so uh what's up guys so he knew uh he knew he was gonna get a ticket that's for damn sure right so he uh he kept going he looked back at the uh LTO officers and uh, LTO was waving him over and he was uh, he wasn't having that but that's what happens the LTO was set up in one area that's the only area they're allowed even though everybody was breaking the law by doing a u-turn down the road to avoid the LTO Hi. hello uh, they still couldn't go down the road you know you would think they would just block that area off so nobody could do the turn there but they didn't all right guys we're going to shoot down this road here on the right don't know the name of the road there's no sign it's just a big basically a big circle that i'm doing or square that i'm doing i guess you could say 
<laughs> Watch nobody runs me over from behind. Should have crossed the street here. It's been a while since I did a little walk down this street. Down the street here further on the left hand side is the hygiene. The hygiene joint where all the girls go for hygiene. Why do they have to go for hygiene? That is a good question. Why is it only the girls that work in the bars here have to go get a hygiene check? Get the girls that work in McDonald's, they don't have to get a hygiene check. Hmm. There's pinkies on the left. Ah, she's not open today. If they're not doing anything wrong, why do they need a hygiene? <laughs> uh, this guy's backing up. Local juice. Somebody. All right. What coconut? What's up, coconut? Can't help them all, guys. Super Place Bar. There's an apartment for rent. Remember, if you're looking for apartment, just go out, walk around, get, grab a trike, have them drive you around, get the numbers, and just give them a call. City Health Office. Now that's here because of the uh, hygiene. I've seen that truck sitting here almost every day now. <clears throat> A tattoo joint on the left. Sure Stay Plus Hotel by Best Western. Superior Room. 2,500, deluxe 3,500. Don't know anything about that place. All these cars parked through here. I'm, <clears throat> I come through here and they're all parked through here. And I think that has to do with hygiene. People that are working at hygiene. What is involved in hygiene? I have no clue. What the girls gotta do? I have no clue. What's all involved in it? I have no clue. Why? Because I don't need hygiene, right? Uh, let me scoot through here. I'll smash my shins up. The hygiene place is right down here to the left. I think this loops up and around. Let me uh, let me walk. I don't think I've ever walked back in here. But anyways, to the left is your hygiene place. HIV testing, treatment, ST, STI diagnostics and management, pre and post exposure, condom and lubricant distribution, client referral service, patient support service, outreach service. Angeles City Primary HIV Care Clinic. That's what it says on the sign. No, I'm not going to walk in there. What's up, buddy? Big Tommy's Hotel and Resort. Board recycling guy, yeah. It's a recycle center. There's some cardboard over there. Yes, I got a can. What's up, buddy? Is it a recycle? Yes. Recycle. Yeah. Plastics, cardboard. Yeah. yeah. Where do you take that? You like this. Okay. Uh, anywhere of somewhere in the nighttime. 
Where do, <laughs> where, do you take this? Do you take this somewhere and then they pay you per kilo, right? Uh, the plastic, the uh, they change the rice. 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 They change it rice. Oh, they exchange for rice. Right, yeah. Oh, that's like a program they have here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I think I heard of that. This is for the just shop manager to, 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 to take the money. Yeah. Then the, the plastic, any kind of plastic, for right. example, candy. Coffee, that's good. Plastic bag. Like so that. they don't give you money now, they give you exchange for food for rice. That's good. That's good. Keeps you busy, huh? It yeah. you, you fills your belly. Yeah. That's cool. All right, guys. Thank you. Okay. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I, I heard of that. Some program they got here. I think that's through the mayor's office or one of the one of the offices here. Uh, exchange plastics, exchange cardboard, according to him, for for rice. So that's cool. I think this just loops up and around. Never walked this street. San, Fr San Francisco Street. San Francisco Street. That's what it says. That's the back of Filipino Casino. Oh, why, oh. Yeah, this just jumps right up here, right onto A Santos. Down past the uh, One Euphoria, the 7 Eleven, down past there. That's a tattoo joint. There it is, apartment for rent. Two signs up there. All right, back to a Santo Street. Boom, boom, on euphoria. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. That's my morning walk. Walk and show you around the area. People love to see walking videos. They like to see what's going on. They like to see the people. They like to see the buildings. They like to see just what's going on. Uh, I always said, morning. I always said, uh, <clears throat> why should I walk around showing you my face the whole time? People want to see what's going on. So that's what I've always said and always done. Let you guys see what's going on. So, all right guys, with that being said, We'll talk to you later.